Hello everyone, my name is John Bell. Um, I'm a retired school teacher I'm trying to make a living now on YouTube. Uh, today, this video is about going to Europe. Do you need lodging? Well, I'm here to tell you and offer you a $20 coupon off your first booking with booking.com. If you're interested in this, you're watching the right video. We'll be back right after this. Okay, um, I am using today booking.com. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Uh, well, let's get right into it. Okay, uh, first thing here, I better move my camera uh, my camera out of the way. First thing here, you notice it says, where to next, John? So it recognizes me. It has me logged in here as a, uh, a frequent traveler, a genius member. Genius member, I think, is uh, uh, after you do five bookings with uh, booking.com, you get a genius member. And then from there on, every booking uh, you make with them, you save 10%. Pretty good deal. Okay. But for uh, the purposes of this video, what I want to show you is I want to take here uh, now, the reason this happens is because I have, my browser is Mozilla Firefox, and I have listed in my, in my downloads here, um, booking.com, okay? And when I click on that, it automatically goes to booking.com, and then I have a plugin on my browser called LastPass, which supplies the password to booking.com so all i have to do is press booking.com it fires it up in my browser automatically logs me in with my credentials and here i am now all you have to do to become a member of booking.com you can make reservations without becoming a member but all you have to do is supply them with your name address phone number they track it the nice thing about it is Whenever you go back to booking.com, they have a list of all your, you know, your scheduled bookings coming up, all your past bookings. You can look at them all. You can rebook them. You can do whatever you want. But for the purposes of this video, and so that I don't get any uh, price discrepancies because I'm a frequent traveler and a genius member, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log out. of booking.com okay now it doesn't know me from Adam okay um, excuse me wrong one let me move my hang back up into the corner okay <clears throat> here you can see up here accommodations okay my personal opinion Booking.com is the best search engine for accommodations in Europe, period. I've tried them all. Booking.com is the best, okay? You see they also offer flights here. Let me blow this up a little bit so you can, so you can see this better. There you go. They also offer flights. Um, they're not the best at this, okay? Uh, they give you average prices for flights. And of course, flights plus hotel are, again, average. Car rentals, airport taxis, and restaurants I've never used, okay? So I can't tell you anything about them. Have at it, check it out if you like it. Fine, if you don't. But the most important thing about, about the initial setup here at Booking.com, whether you are right now like we are as an anonymous person or you're a, uh, a Booking.com 
uh, frequent traveler and a genius level, okay, is to make sure that right here you have the American flag showing, that's our language, and you make sure you have it in dollars right here. Okay. This is important. Anything I want to compare, I want to compare in dollars. And I want to use the English, American English language, not UK English, American English. We're Americans, so that's the thing. The reason for this is, is regardless, the bookings will be made in whatever the currency is of anything that you're you're going to do but it'll convert it into american dollars okay so whether it be euros or pounds or rubles or drachmas or anything else it's going to convert it into dollars so you can compare apples to apples okay first thing up here where do we want to go well let's say we want to go to brussels Okay, Brussels region, Belgium. Okay, there we go. Now, our check-in date. Let's see, our check-in date, we want to go 6... 24. And our check-out date, we want to go 6 27. Okay, I travel alone, so it's only one adult. Okay, this little checkbox here, I'm traveling for work. You can check that. Well, what does that mean? Well, look at the question. It says, if you select this option, we'll show you most popular travel features like breakfast, breakfast included, Wi-Fi, and free parking. Okay, if those are important for you, fine. If not, don't check it. You can check any of these once we get to the listings. Okay, so let's do a search on this. Now, the reason that I'm using these specific dates is because I already have reservations on these dates, and I want to check it right now. Because <clears throat> I'll show you, um, well, let me, let, me, let me go back here. Maybe I can, I can do this. No. Okay, let's just search and see what we get. Okay, so our search is for Brussels. Okay, I'm checking in June 24th. I'm checking out June 27th. One adult, no children, one room. Okay, I'm not traveling for work. Okay, now here's all our filters we can apply. So for instance, right now, uh, we found 508 properties for those dates that are available. Okay. And they're sorted now for top picks for solo travelers. It did this because I only said one adult. Okay. But we could sort them lowest price first, score and review price, quality, distance from downtown. We can sort them any way we want here. So we'll just leave it this way for the time being. But I want to go down here and go my, uh, let's see my budget. Well, I'd like to go zero to $61 per night. Okay, now that knocked it down to 37 properties, <laughs> okay? So let's, let's add the 61 to 120 a night because this is Brussels and Brussels is expensive. Okay, so now we're back up to 252. Okay, now what filters do we want? Okay, uh, I, can, I can say, well, hotels, I'd like that. Okay, 91. Uh, do you wanna be in Brussels center, right downtown or not? Do you only want eight stars or above? Very good ratings or above? How about free cancellation? I, I, I like free cancellation. I don't like to have to pay for it now and then worry about it. Uh, with free cancellation, you don't have to pay for it now. And as a matter of fact, you get uh, 
up at, well, I'll show you when we get there. <clears throat> uh, I'd also like free Wi-Fi. I have to have Wi-Fi. I make YouTube videos. I'm going to be making YouTube videos in Brussels, and I need Wi-Fi so I can download them to YouTube and Facebook. Okay, now anything else we miss? Now, if you're if you're adamant on the stars, you can pick these. If you're adamant, like, well, uh, it has to have a fitness center or or not. Uh, do you need a front desk that's open 24/7 or not? Okay, the, these you can do. Now, also in addition to free cancellation, I like no prepayment. I, I, I on my credit card, why should I pay for this now? I'm not going there for another three months. So let's make no prepayment. Okay, so further down the line here. Uh, the thing I can do is, uh, let's see, do I want breakfast or not? And, or do I want a kitchen? Do I want to make my own breakfast? Okay. Now, in addition to hotels, I could have apartments. So, okay, we'll pick that. Okay, now I'm up to 108 properties. In addition to apartments... How about bed and breakfast? Okay, I'm up to 123. Uh, I do not want hostels. I mean, if you're looking for hostels, fine. Check hostels and don't check hotels, okay? Um, I'm not interested in any of these. I don't care if it has a front desk. I don't care if it has breakfast included or really kitchen facilities. Uh, guest house, vacation homes. Okay. Uh, do you want it near any of these landmarks? Which these cities aren't that big. It doesn't matter. Okay. And they have good transportation. So I I don't care. Now, do you want twin beds or a double bed? I, I'm a single traveler, but I prefer a double bed. So let's see what we have. 123 still. And now here it's the, on the facilities also, you know, uh, do you want a non-smoking room? Do you need on-site parking? Daily housekeeping? Uh, a restaurant? Airport shuttle? You know, all these things are nice, but every one of these you check cuts down over here on the number of choices available. Uh, room facility. Do you want a bathtub as opposed to just a shower? Well, you can check that. You can check kitchenette, flat screen TV. I like that, so I'll check that. Okay, we're at 81. Moving further down here, um, pet friendly, I don't have pets, I'm not driving, I don't care if it has a swimming pool, I don't need an airport shuttle. In this case, I'm traveling from London to Brussels by the uh, Eurostar through the channel. Uh, that knocks one more thing off my bucket list, <laughs> okay? Um, I don't care if it has a coffee machine there or a kitchenette. I don't care if it's in the historical center or in Brussels downtown, right, you know, there. And I don't, I'm not particularly interested in any one chain. I'm, I don't have a frequent, you know, visitor card for any one chain, so I don't really care about that. So that's all my properties. So let's see what we got now. Okay, uh, this is top picks for solo tra uh, travelers. But what I'd like to do now is go lowest price first. Okay. Now, here, I better, I better shrink this just a little. All right. All right, here's an apartment. Here's a flat with a shared bath. Okay. 
apartment is 323 square feet. Pretty small, okay? It's like 32 by 10, okay? Um, but for three nights, it's $129. This is, you know, $129 for three nights. It's like $42 a night. Okay. There's a, another uh, hotel. Now, all of these, well, let's get to one here. Um, here's one. Oh, you just missed it. Last room sold out a few days ago. So, okay. Um, uh, here's one here. Uh, Hotel Aristote. Um, okay. Uh, it's in the city center. This single room. Risk-free. You can cancel later. Free cancellation. Price for three nights. $186. So it's $62 a night. Okay. Has a score of 6.1. That's not bad. It has parking. It has Wi-Fi. All right. Let's just pick this. Just for an example. Okay. Okay, uh, so here I can go through the uh, I can go through the, the pictures of it. Nice, nice bath. It has a front desk. Nice beds. Nice waiting area. There's twin beds. Bathroom. Uh, okay. All, here's breakfast available. I don't know if it's included. We'll get to that. Uh, Aristote is in Central Brussels, 500 feet from a metro station. Okay. Rooms with a TV, free Wi-Fi, and a private bathroom. Okay. The mannequin piss statue is five minutes walk away. It's a 10-minute walk from both the Grand Palace and Brussels South train station. That is uh, Brussels Midi uh, train station. Um, okay, solo travelers in particular like the location. They rated 7.7 .7 for one person stay. Okay, here's what they have. Parking, free Wi-Fi, non-smoking rooms, 24-hour front desk, elevator. That's important. Okay, if you're on the fourth floor of a hotel and there's no elevators... Okay, in addition to lugging your suitcase and backpack and everything else you're carrying up those four floors, every time you leave or come out of that hotel, you're going up and down four floors of stairs. Generally, not a big deal. Generally, you leave in the morning, you're going downhill, so that doesn't matter. But at night, after a full day of sightseeing and you're tired and you're coming back and maybe a little bit tipsy, uh... Four floors is pretty dawning. Okay, here's the dates. Check them. Make sure. Okay. Here's a single room. Three night price. Okay. Uh, it includes a 6% VAT tax. It excludes the 4.25 city tax per night. So it's going to be just a little bit more than this. Okay. Uh, breakfast is available. You pay at the property nine dollars, okay, which is like eight euros, something like that. Uh, free cancellation before June twenty second. We come in there the twenty first, so that's two days before. Free cancellation, no problems. I mean, you haven't paid anything; they just mark you okay, canceled, and that's it. Okay, no prepayment needed. You pay at the property. Okay. Or you can get it $4 cheaper, and you can pay now. Why would you want to do that? Okay. That's one twin bed. Okay. Now, if you want a full bed, it jumps up from 186 to 232. A twin room, and that's, that's all they got. So, let's... Let's just say for the, the, the 
uh, uh, let's just say let's select this one room okay uh, press over here well you don't even have to select that let's go back you just press the single room over here and it will show you the pictures here the room size 247 square my pictures in the way it's 247 square foot it's got a TV its own bathroom heating bathtub or shower flat screen TV wardrobe closet and towels with free Wi-Fi okay so let's look at the pictures why I mean get get that back again uh, flat screen TV single bed it's the next one same thing um, same thing um, nice bathroom different these are just different price uh, uh, photos of the place <clears throat> you can see they have five photos of it here so if that's the case then you can go ahead and you can go reserve and then all you have to do is give me your credit card number because they will reserve it with your credit card without any money which is good okay and then when you get there you can pay with that credit card or you want to you could pay them any other way it doesn't matter you can pay them cash you could use a debit card you could use a prepaid money card anything you want so that's a that's a pretty good um, pretty good choice there now you also notice over here they have a thing that says we price match okay if you right here we price match you can claim a refund for the different if you find your reservation cheaper on another rep website okay so if you go to Travago or Priceline or something and you find this room cheaper on their thing, they'll refund you the difference. And believe me, it does work because I have used it. Okay, so we can go back now to the... Uh, listing for the uh, hotels there we go so uh, uh, here's another one 1.8 miles from city center breakfast included on this one 188 for the three nights Albert Hotel Okay, hotel Euro cap all kinds of them here so you know you can just pick any one of these you just click on the name it'll go you you can I, one thing I forgot here let's just pick on the name this is an example okay show on map okay here's where it is Okay. We can we can close this. Okay, I could go I could go up here. Okay. Here's the city center right here. Right up here. Yeah. Pictures in the way again. Here's the city center up here. Okay. This hotel is right here. Not bad. So that's basically how, how Priceline, I mean now Booking.com works. Okay, now I wanted to show you here that um, I do have, um, I already made reservations in Brussels for these same dates, that's why I picked them. And I got a great place here 
um, for uh, $265 for the three nights, which is like $81 a night. Okay. Again, the picture's in the way. Because of this, you can see the cancellation is free down here until a week before. I'm up until June 17th. I'm not scheduled to get there till June 24th. So one week before I get there, up until one week before I can get there, I can cancel. No, no problem at all. Okay. I can also appear on this thing. I can change the dates. If my itinerary changes and I'm going to be there one day earlier or arrive one day later or want to check out one day later, whatever, I can attempt to change the dates. Okay, It might not work. It depends how full they are. Now, me, I made these reservations like around the first of the year, if not in December. Okay. Now I can update my credit card. If I change my credit card, I can update it here. If I wanted to get another room, if I want to view their policies, view my confirmation of this, which is pretty much this, or print it, I can also do this, all from, all from this website. Now you notice my confirmation number and PIN code and the, and the, and the property phone number have been all blotted out. <clears throat> um, for obvious reasons. But th these are all the things that you can do on booking.com. Okay, so let's go back here. So again, just to, just to reiterate this, okay, I happen to think that booking.com is the best reservation service for Europe. Rooms in the United States, you can use it for. Okay. Uh, not so good. Not nearly as good as Europe. Okay. And um, airlines, not so good. Okay. But for accommodations in Europe, this is where they started. This is what they're known for. This is where they put all their time and effort into. And they can't be beat for it. Now, in the description below, right down here, there's a link to booking.com. Okay. If you click that link, what happens is, is on the first reservation you make to booking.com regardless of one night two nights eight nights it doesn't matter but on the first reservation you make to uh, booking.com you save twenty dollars such a deal now in the interest of transparency if you make that booking for twenty dollars i get a twenty dollar credit on my account so for my next booking, I also save $20. So this is a win-win situation. You click on it, you make a booking, you save $20, I save $20. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions at all about this, uh, booking.com, uh, please leave them in the description in the comments below and I will uh, respond back. I read all the comments and generally respond to all of the decent ones. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, so uh, this is John Bell uh, signing off and please like me on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. And until next time, see you around. If you're watching this on Facebook, please like it. If you're watching this on, Fa on uh, <clears throat> YouTube, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Until next time, this is John Bell signing out, wishing you good luck, a long life, and may God bless. <laughs>